Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about my October favorites. I actually have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, makeup, one wig, skincare, lots of good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and just get right into the video. So this is called the BH Cosmetics Take, Take Me Back to Brazil 35 Color Pressed Pigment Palette. I honestly don't even know what's glued to it right there. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. I think it's a mixture of blood and foam and cotton. Yeah, but I love this for Halloween looks because look at all of those colors. Greens, pinks, purples, blues, yellows, black, and two different lighter highlight shades. I used the greens a lot because I was doing a poison ivy look, but then whenever I was doing a bloody like gash or cut, anything that involved blood, I would go in with the purples and the reds a lot to help create that bruising effect on my skin. So. I really like this and I actually um, brought it with me on Halloween day because I did some uh, makeup on my boyfriend's little brother and he wanted to have like that nice like open gash on his face so I did the same kind of technique that I did with my Poison Ivy look on his face and he loved it. Yeah, I really like this palette and it's funny because I would have never used it otherwise. I'm not into these colors on a normal basis but for Halloween this was definitely my go-to palette. One thing I was a little hesitant about actually was this, the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I wasn't sure if it was going to work for me because it has a matte finish and it also is supposed to reduce oil on your skin so immediately to me that seemed like it would be good for oily skin girls not so much dry skin like me obsessed with the coverage of this i love this color i have it in light beige i mean it matches me perfectly i'm wearing it today but the only thing was if i had just gone in with my usual stuff and then go on with this it just is a little bit tight so i found a way to be able to use this if you have dry skin all you have to do is just use a very, very hydrating kind of primer first, then go in with an oil. I like maracuja oil, and then go in with this. And that way you can wear it throughout the day and it still feels comfortable. You get that awesome full coverage. I actually like to apply it with a fluffy face brush instead of the beauty blender or any other kind of blending sponge. I just feel like it looks better when you buff it out with a brush. So try that if you have this. And I think you're gonna love the way that the finish looks. You know, it's definitely got that airbrushed, flawless looking finish. And then I also like the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I just couldn't not include this in my favorites because I really do use it like on a daily basis. And I think the reason why I feel like I keep gravitating towards this one versus others that I have, like the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder or the other one from Too Faced, the Ethereal Setting Powder, I really like this one the most because it has like that peachy pink shade to it and it just looks so beautiful under the eyes which is where I like to use it most. also really like the Just Peachy Matte Palette. Right off the bat when I opened it I noticed that it has a really good dark brown and then also this like more taupey cooler tone dark brown. Pretty much every single eye look that I ever do in the outer corner area. It's like a necessity for me. I have to have that so that I can do a like intense dark smoky eye. I just feel like it adds a lot more dimension to my looks. So if it doesn't have a black then it's gotta have dark browns in it. Also I'm obsessed with these shades for using in the crease. I love that peachy tone. I've just been really liking those lately. Honestly the two that I get the least use out of are these two purples but everything else I am just like using like crazy. Two products from It Cosmetics. First one being the Secret Sauce. If any of you have dry skin you absolutely need to get this. Absolutely. This is by far the best moisturizer it cosmetics has ever come out with they have completely outdid themselves i mean i guess you just never know how good something is until you try it i literally thought that the super cream was like the best ever if this is a 10 i would give like the super cream a 7 like you literally put this on your face and you feel like there's like your face just completely changed right as you started applying it like as if all of my pores and all those nasty bumps that are on my skin just like disappeared somehow I don't know guys, I don't know what else to tell you other than the fact that it's amazing and that you have to try it. Anti-aging 3-in-1 Glow Tonic. It's a skin brightening radiance booster. An anti-aging treatment essence and a skin softening micellar cleanser. So all three of those at the same time. You guys can see I used quite a lot of this. If I put a liquid lipstick on and then I realized it didn't really go with my eye makeup, so I wanted to take it off and redo it and do something else, 
that's when this came in. I would use just a cotton ball. I use it to get my eye makeup off at night. Uh, sometimes I'll go in with my simple makeup remover wipes, get my makeup off that way, and then go in with this, just like as another additional cleanse after I had worked out just to get all of that oil off my face. Um, but yeah, mostly I would, <laughs> I would use it for mistakes, honestly, like when I just had some type of makeup mistake that I wanted to fix and take it off and redo it with something else. I use it a lot for Halloween makeup tutorials. And yeah, it's just so nice and hydrating. It feels great on the skin. It is very moisturizing, which is weird because it's just like this liquid. You wouldn't think it would be moisturizing, but it really is when you put it on your skin. Um, you can just like let it sit there. You don't have to rub it in or anything. It does leave like a little bit of a film kind of feel. You just let it sit there and let it soak into your skin and then you won't even feel it anymore. But I like the fact that it has that. Really good for dry skin. So this is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It came in a little set. There was this one and then a bigger one that's like that big for your face. It was $8 for the set, but I don't use the big one. It's just a little too big. I did have one of these that I had gotten. It didn't have that little strap and I just feel like it was so awkward to hold, but I like that this has a strap so that I can actually work in my products without worrying about trying to hold this. So I'll put the cre contour creams on and then I'll just very lightly use patting motions to melt into the skin. Also really been liking this Ofra Semi-Permanent Waterproof Eyebrow Gel in Dark Brown. I use this to fill in my eyebrows every single day. I do have a 30% off coupon code for you guys. It's K30. I'm obsessed with their liquid lipsticks. I always have been, but this product right here is so good. Do this bottom part right here then do the tail and then just kind of flick the product up to fill in this top edge and with whatever is left on the brush which is usually like virtually nothing I will just blend the inner corners out with that and so I only have to use one product for my eyebrows which is really nice and it's quick too like I can get my eyebrows down in like maybe like two minutes so I'm a huge fan of Kiss they have the best press on nails. I'm wearing them right now. Every single one of my Halloween tutorials, I was wearing Kiss Press On Nails. Comes with the glue inside, and then all you do is just put the glue on your fingertip and press the nail on for like five seconds. It's so quick and easy to do. Like I would literally put these on seconds before I started filming. <laughs> and they stay on pretty well too. The only thing I would recommend is to just wear gloves when you're doing dishes, because that's usually when they would pop off. The glue would separate from my nail. So if you wear gloves while you're doing your dishes, then you won't have that problem and they'll last like, I'd say a week. These faux mink lashes from their Lash Couture collection, these are the two that I use the most in the past month, Midnight and Gala. They're so full and pretty and glamorous. These do have a thicker band, so they are a bit harder to apply, but Kiss also has lashes that have really, really thin bands that I use all the time. I like the, the uh, style Shy. There's so many, oh my gosh, I can't even remember their names anymore, but I'm always, I, every single time you see me wearing eyelashes, I'm wearing Kiss. <laughs> But yeah, they are so good. I love these lashes, and if you guys are, you know, looking for something that you can reuse multiple times, that is really, really high quality faux mink, I would pick up these. I started going in with these powders to really help sculpt my face, and I forgot how much I loved it. <laughs> this was a favorite of mine for so long. You guys can see my two favorite shades are these right here, these two, this like yellowy banana kind of highlight shade. I like to put that under my eyes and or down the sides of my nose. And then this bronzer shade works so good for warming up the face. And I'll just take the slightest little bit of this darker shade and work it through as a contour around my uh, cheekbones and sometimes like on my jawline. There's like a lot of contour palettes out there that just don't have the right colors for me. I like things to be nice and warm. So this is the perfect one for me. So I'm getting back into it again. I love it. So this was the wig that I wore in my unicorn Halloween look. I wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like because I got a lot of questions about it. It is a lace front kind of wig. So you see there's a lace in there and then you have the clip in the front, which I honestly didn't even know about till just right now. <laughs> but you can secure it in the front 
and then the two ones on the side you can secure so it when you put it on it does not move and the reason I wanted something like this for my Halloween tutorials is because it looks a lot more realistic they have like a built-in hairline there the hairline is just so soft and natural with this lace kind of front and this shade this shade was my favorite out of all the wigs that I got I ordered four on Amazon this one was my favorite I just love this beautiful rose gold like pastel pink kind of shade a lot of you were like telling me I should dye my hair pink and I totally would if my hair wouldn't fall out my hair is terrible it would never my hair would never take to a pink hair dye I'm pretty sure you gotta bleach it first so <laughs> me wearing wigs is the only way I'm ever going to get really cool looking hair colors so I'll definitely be wearing this again in my videos and yeah, I would totally recommend this to you guys. These wigs were awesome. I got them again from Amazon. Pretty cheap I'd say for wigs. They were like under $50 each. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.